Good evening, everyone. Uh, so after a short little family break, I am back and I'm broadcasting here on Twitch on a Monday night. And we're going to ease back in and do uh, a game with the Germans here tonight. No, this is not a vodcast vertigo. Welcome. Been uh, doing a few vodcasts to fill in the void here since I haven't broadcast since last Tuesday. But I've been itching to get back here and play some Civilization Revolution. <laughs> What's up, Vertigo? So let's play with the Germans. They start pretty strong. Uh, they have veterans at least, though, so that helps them out a little bit. And uh, probably my favorite perk that they have is that plus one forest regions. They get that just in time to help out with uh, their expansion. Uh, not quite as good as some of the other bonuses that uh, other civs have, but and we'll take what we can get and we'll see what we can do with it. So let's do this. Oh. Oh, it's not an island, is it? Just in case this... It's not an island, is it? 9 p.m. Multiple... Oh, yeah, this is an island. This is a map. I believe this is an island. Let me... S I'm pretty sure it's an island. What do you guys say? You want an island game? I think we should do it. We haven't done an island game before, so this could actually be pretty cool. Um, something I know that people have been asking for. So, hey, why not? Why not? And it doesn't really look like we can run around too much. So, I don't think we're really going to benefit here. So, let's do a, an island strategy game, shall we? Let's go ahead and just plant right here. So it looks like nothing of value is around here. Yeah, so we're on an island with no no huts, nothing. So let's just build a boat and see what we can do here. This is not going to be a speed run, that's for sure. Wow. There is nothing on this island. Not even a single... Yeah, there's just nothing over here. Whole bunch of whales. Hey, Cholo. Let me change this uh, title. This is actually... Change this to German Island Game, since we have a German map here. Um... Yeah, an island like this is definitely a major pain. You don't want to spawn on one of these for sure. I want to 
try to get 100 gold right away. Alright, so I did find one natural wonder on the island. Odor grassland. Hooray! <laughs> well, that's going to help. That'll help a lot. So, that'll help us pop out of galley, get our 100 gold milestone. So, that'll be something. And we got fish over here. And what else? <laughs> yeah, if you can start your game and just go ahead and get the seven cities of gold, that'd be a good strategy to go ahead and do that. The seven cities of gold can get you 200, 250, 300, or 350. Depends on what era it is. And that's how much it gives, respectively, for each era. Since we have pretty much nothing on this island, we're just going to put... We're going to go all in here. And just do our best to explore. Because that's all we really have. Our goal right now is to get to Republic as fast as we can and get five technologies so that we can think about expanding. Change this over to bronze working. Actually, I'm going to send this boat in the opposite direction since I just want to get this warrior loaded up. Nice little island. And we found the Russians. I'm probably not going to go to the mainland. Probably going to stick to islands as much as I can. And this boat right here is probably just going to help me expand to these islands as much as I can while the other one drives around looking for more cool things. The key to winning this game is to become a multicultural, multi ethnic society with no borders. <laughs> Can you comment? Um, I haven't had any success with that strategy personally. Just, uh, so I usually try to keep it. Just try to, uh, I don't know. I just want, I just uh, don't think that really works. I, I've never seen that work before, so. I don't know, maybe if you have a video where it does work, that could be interesting. Could be a new strategy. Never know. <laughs> this guy can go explore for me, though. 
and meet up with these people. Wow, these guys got archers. I don't even think I have a strategy, uh, tech to sell to these guys. No. I could rush libraries, but that's pretty cheesy. Well, if I finish up bronze working, at least I can take advantage of that fish. Won't be much, but got to do what we can here. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done that kind of victory. I don't know how you do that. Sounds like you would just culture flip yourself. I'm not sure what would really happen there. Hoping this guy can find something, but. Hey, silver zombie. What's going on? Don't believe anything is over there. Okay. Not gonna argue with that. So we got a Knights Templar. See if we can uh, have some fun with that. Let's see, one, two, one, two. There's no way I could get there. Could I? I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see here. Could possibly take out Moscow, but... It would be a stretch. I don't know. A lot of artifacts this game, at least, so that's something. All the games I've been playing lately haven't been getting too many of those, so... It's nice to actually have some artifacts in the game for once. Risky. 
I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go after them, because I would be 8 on 5, so I, I don't think that's really a little too risky right now. One thing I could consider is uh, rushing a library, because I don't really have a lot of other options right now. And it's only 80 gold. I think I might do it. And it could at least be valuable for the rest of the game, because it's a, that's a good spot for libraries, so... We'll see. I think I'd be better served trying to find barbarian huts. So let's skip that attack on Moscow for now. Okay. Hmm. Well, you can do one of two things. You could just grab it now or wait until many, many turns later. If I get it now, that would get us to our first great person a lot sooner. It's worth thinking about, actually. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We got a hut over there. Yeah, it sure seems like it. Spawn on an island, but you get all kinds of extra goodies. Quite a few huts that we can take advantage of. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and get it now. <laughs> oh! They're sending me settlers. I want to help. Let's we'll see if how lucky we are. Let's we'll see if we can get Code of Laws here. Nope. Alright, so only Atlantis is left at this point. Go back to writing. Got another follow. Hey, Yuma Morola Grossa. Huh. 
I have got to go get those settlers as soon as I can, but right now I'm going to get that barb hut. And this will get me a nice little upgrade, so that'll help. Hey, March is actually handy in this situation. March is actually a pretty good upgrade, so that's a, I'm cool with that. Five turns from Code of Laws. Actually, let's... I feel like we really need pottery. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, Sivrev 2 is dead to all of us. Oh, okay. So we didn't get Code of Laws, but we got Pottery. So that's cool. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, that's special. This guy... Arabs have not even built archers yet. <laughs> if Genghis can make the face of the Mongols, then Hitler has a chance, huh? Yeah, they'll never. I don't think Hitler's going to be making any appearances anytime soon in any of these games. First time I saw Hitler was in in a video game was in Bionic Commando. I was like eight years old or nine years old, and I beat Bionic Commando. And I saw his face explode at the end of the game. I, I was like, what the hell? This is in a Nintendo video game? Did they even... Sensors even check this out? This has the F Nintendo seal of approval? I guess as long as it's Hitler, they can do get away with anything. Back home. This island start is pretty sailing along pretty nicely, if you ask me. I think I should actually return this boat. <laughs> yes, exploding Hitler. Family, family company, family friendly Nintendo. Put the seal of approval on that. There goes that culture push again. So fake. Medic, just in time. 
That might end up killing me, actually. Yeah. Beautiful. Just beautiful. That stupid culture push thing hurt me. What they're gonna do is they have fundamentalism and then they're just gonna like destroy this guy. No? Too hairy. They have archers now. Actually, nope. Oh, I think I recognize this map. This is the big. This is the one with that's a giant donut. This is the donut map. what this is. Uh, this is the map I got with the Americans. I'm starting to recognize all these different maps. Warped him, but at least he's safe. <laughs> Need a boat to get over there immediately. I'm gonna take out that Russian city at least. Definitely, and could not get, could not crack Tripoli. Too little firepower right there. <laughs> None of them can tell me the stats. Yeah, they're only they're only five and three.
Arab's got a great person. Unfortunately, he's quite far. Kind of hoping the Russians end up using one, planting one in their city. Just gonna have to continue sailing around here. <laughs> Alright. What I really need is like a large, <laughs> some large maps, some large islands that I can, ugh, this is going to be yucky. I don't have any trees I can take advantage of. Tamer. <laughs> what does that even mean? For a Tamer, for a Tamer. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> In what language? <laughs> they're just excited they're just excited to be here man where else are you going to go for some Civ Rev on Twitch this is the place to be
Whew. Yeah, that's not enough of the damage right there. steal gold from this guy. Yeah, it's not enough an advantage. After this, I'm not sure that I'll be playing a second game. We'll see about that. We'll see when this ends. to need some money somehow. I don't know how. Hopefully I get a great explorer or something. I'm going to need some kind of resources. Get things cranking here. She must have blown all her money. Barely has any money. Uh oh. They're building a Colossus. We'll give him pottery. Modarium, Vado Absos Proto Key. Where are the Romans? Mot me do a Queraro in Kemare Pu. Mot Queraro Pento Pesodare. Do a Modar. Do a Wow, this guy has a ton of money. Querarum Fento Modarium Dua Alright, this guy's loaded. Dua Dua Mul Querarum Fent Multari. Alright. Actually, hold on. The hard part about island hopping is you don't really have the production that you need. Well, what can you do at this point? So. Is 
So there's a little blessing in disguise here. Well, not even in disguise. In plain sight. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That was a good title. There we go. <laughs> Your new cat, Riff Raff. Sure, why not? Let's see, so, got a great scientist. I need currency, that's for darn sure. Oh, I forgot to name it Riff Raff. Sorry. I always forget. <laughs> double pottery. I could go for double pottery. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll remember. It's just such a such a habit. You just hit Y and just hit the button. And you have a city. All these boats. Whew. Oof, Come here, rough game. Did not get literacy first. Oof, In fact, I think this time to just sell this boat. <laughs> Nothing good's gonna come of that. Oh. 
That could be a good little tech city over there. May as well. Follow Oop! Forgot again. Not doing that on purpose. Seriously, just a habit. builder got to do something cool with him <laughs> sorry I'm trying it's so hard it's such a bad habit <laughs> okay. All right, so we got our scientist over there and the builder here. Could be could work out. Get currency sooner rather than later. And then keep this one gold. So we're going to try to make this our gold city, get navigation, get monarchy, and should be doing pretty well at that point. It would be not, it would be smart to save this builder for EIC. All right. 
Alright, I guess I'll drive this boat around the north side here. Yeah, I see. East India Company. The best wonder in the game. Hands down. 30... Uh, not gonna go for. I think I should just rush the settler, but well, actually maybe not. Kind of wondering about <laughs> putting a Colossus over here, but I feel like it's a little too late for that strategy. East India Company is really good. It's the one that gives you plus one trade to all sea tiles. Yeah, it's, it's one of the best ones for any kind of victory, really. These guys, I think, were building a Colossus, but I don't know what they're doing anymore. Think about it. We'll think about it. working. Sure, I'll take free technology. Only downside is I have to promise to not attack them, which is not easy. I would really rather cause some problems for them, but okay. Free technology, whatever. So we got a market in Hamburg and a caravan in Munich. So let's see if we can do something cool with that. I'd like to get banking. If we can get banking and then industrialization. No, oh, we need 105 science per turn before we can even think about that. <laughs> Let's get the irrigation bonus, shall we? Ooh, a sham. 260 gold for Tripoli. Okay. Just stand here and cause problems. Hey, he agreed to, pe agreed to peace, so uh, we'll be peaceful at this intersection. So we got our market here. Should help a little bit. Bring this down to 25. Get it in two turns. Is 
So next turn we'll get Colossus. We'll see how that pays off for us. This guy's on the other side of this map. That's not going to stop him from declaring war on us. Whatever, man. I just hope this pays off. Because I drove. I'm opting to not get the EIC at this point. So after this, we're going to beeline for Monarchy, Navigation, and we're going to get Irrigation this turn, so that'll help my gold and my science cities here. So we're getting 18 science per turn there, and that'll be even better next turn, so we'll see how that goes. ton of science now so I can flip some of these back. What I really need to do is rush a library over here. That'll help as well. Alright, so we didn't get literacy first, but at least we got the irrigation bonus. That'll help us out. And, like I said, we gotta get it mar gotta get monarchy first, and then we'll go for math and then nav. They mad at me now though, so we'll see what happens here. Nice. So getting a pretty nice amount of. Science now, 60 per turn. Um, this island's awful because it has a tree in the middle, which is totally worthless. That's unfortunate. Nothing we can do about that. Follow, follow. <laughs> gonna have to get this caravan over to the mainland somehow yeah, let's fix all these go through one more time here
So they're at war, at war with me, but I haven't seen any anyone come marching up here quite yet. I guess we'll have to make sure that we get some boats so that we can defend ourselves. Um, really nothing to do right now. Not enough gold to expand or anything like that. My boats are pretty busy, so... We'll get die next turn. <laughs> Come on, man. That's not fair. Not fair at all. Uh, let's see here. Nav? Nav? Math nav looks good. Get that in one turn. So Triple Eater will give me 260 gold, so let's try to get that. plant right here for a double whale. That would be pretty smart. That island looks pretty worthless. And looks like we have a great person coming next turn, so that's very cool. We're gonna hang on to this this guy right here. We'll use him to complete industrialization later on. Alright, I totally remembered now. Who am I renaming him after? Someone's cat? Fur fur? Buzzball? Riffraff. There you go. Got you a double whale city, buddy. Actually, I'm going to pop out another one. Oh, damn. I need, need a little bit more. Can I get that in one turn? I think I can. No, this is an unscheduled broadcast, Bjorn Bullock. This is a bonus stream. Hey! You want a fish city, Poka PJ? Using your name? You got it, buddy. You got it. This guy's making me nervous. I'm gonna put a guy here. I don't wanna mess with that guy. 
start ramming boats together. Oh, I can get it in one turn. Look at that. Alright. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I just hate when boats are driving around my city. Alright. Ah, get away from me. Got a galleon, but we don't have a barracks, so that means we don't have a veteran galleon, unfortunately. Uh, we need banking. But... Ideally, you want to get banking from your... Uh, You want to end up getting banking from your gold milestone, but it's just not always e easy to do that. Well, think of it this way. What if I dumped everything into gold right now? I can't change that one. It's only 46 a turn. That's just not enough. I have these science cities going on. So, ended up investing in two libraries just because I'm on an island here. So, just gonna end up going with these original plan here. Well, if you can get it from the gold milestone, that's almost like getting it for free. If you just happen to be getting a ton of gold, let's say... I mean, why research it if you can get it for free from a gold milestone? But, you know, things just have to be going very well. And this is a island start, so it's... You know, you're not going to get everything just falling into your lap on an island start. An island start with no barb huts and one natural wonder on your starting island. So, you know, it's, it's a tough... Tough, tough start. Let's see here. I'm kind of thinking I should let this other guy grow. This one over here. Let this guy grow a little bit. This guy's greedy. Hogging it all up. So we'll get banking in two turns, and then in three turns we're gonna get industrialization. We'll see what you'll see what happens here. I've hit uh, the most magical number in this game, which is 105 science per turn. So that means I can research industrialization if I have that much science. So you'll see what I'm talking about after I finish up banking. Yikes! This guy's after me. Dude's gonna kill me. Psycho. <laughs> nice, D Ross. Ross, that sounds like an infomercial for my channel. I bought the game a couple weeks ago and was struggling. Watched a couple of Joe's videos here, and I'm not great, but I can play on Deity now, man. Sounds like sounds like an infomercial. Did I pay you to say that? But no, that's great. That's great that you can uh, play on Deity, and after just a couple of weeks, that's pretty pretty insane, honestly.
It took me... I mean, most people when they started out took months to get to this point. Pretty cool. <laughs> we make dreams come true on this channel, D. Ross. DD wins, money back guaranteed. Game developers hate these game breaking strategies. Surprised he didn't come sink my boat. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, you know what? Look at all that gold. Maybe I didn't have to research banking after all. You see that? I didn't even have to research it. Look at all this gold. That was stupid. That was a waste of... That was a waste. Getting pretty close to a point where... I need more cities, though. I can't go democracy this soon. Getting close. So once you get banking... Then you can get see how it points to industrialization over here. Then we'll use the great person. So how long does it take to get to engineering? Two turns? Huh, I actually have all three of my boats. How about that? Let's pop out of the settler. guys back on the boat since we survived that hair raising encounter with that Arab Arab galley all right the question is I'm gonna have to do some math and figure out can I rush a settler this turn I'll get plus 48 from overflow 18 from gold per turn. <laughs> 48, 58, 68, 66. Oh yeah, I'll have enough. 66 plus 25. Yeah, I can rush one here. So this drops me down to 195. That should be good. Should be good. We're good. Everything's fine. Let's go over here. Whole bunch of whales around here. This is not a bad spot. If I do another, yeah, well, tomorrow is definitely multiplayer night. Um, I definitely want to bring multi more multiplayer to the channel. That is a huge goal of mine right now, and I want to get my multiplayer as good as my single player because my multiplayer is a little lacking. But it shouldn't take long, because I, I understand the game mechanics. It's just a matter of putting together a strategy that makes some sense. And uh, applying it. Instead of running around like an idiot for 20 turns and then planning a city like I did last time. So... Yeah. Lots more multiplayer on the way, guys. In fact, if you checked out my YouTube channel lately, you'll see that... I have added playlists for multiplayer and that might even get split out to free-for-all teams and maybe even head-to-head -head. I don't know how much head-to-head -head we'll do but uh, we'll definitely do a lot of free-for-all in teams so we'll see hip hua follow follow <laughs> 
Yeah, single and multi are definitely two different games. Hey man, you want to underscore? Here you go. Huh. There you go, poke PJ. You wanted a fish though, don't you? I think you said you wanted a fish, so I failed you in that regard. That's alright. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, there we go. We did. That was an accident. I didn't mean to plant with a fish, but it just happened to have a, a fish there. All right, everyone's at war with me. Still haven't met somebody. Who else is in this game? Someone's in the southern part of this map. Yeah, man, I don't mess around. I saw that underscore. I know that's a part of your heritage. That underscore is part of your culture. So you know, I didn't want to deny that. I don't want to trigger you, bro. You know what I mean? A little trigger warning. Alright, so we'll get construction and banking this turn. Is that making sense? Math add up? Don't want to be wrong about that. Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh! Serious. How did I not get banking? Oh, because they stole my island. Are you serious? Wow. That was pretty dirty. I can't believe the AI did that. I should have known. Now I have to deal with this garbage. I have to bring the Galleon in. Oh, AI could have been cool, but no. Computer totally messed my uh, banking milestone up. That is so dirty. I don't even think I can get that city back. Whoa, what? I thought that was the Russians. That was confusing. Alright, we got banking. Sorry, buddy. I have to run here for one turn. <laughs> you just found the exact model. 
<laughs> ah, you think that's the picture? That's funny. First things first. Let's get... Oh. Alright, so we're going to have to set this to... 108 per turn. So we'll have to get industrialization next turn, but whatever. Yeah, I was not expecting the AI to do that. That was a bit, a little bit, it triggered me just a little bit. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, it's very. That's why I didn't really defend it. It's very rare they make a move like that to attack a city that even had a defender in it. Yeah, I was a little shocked by that. Honestly. Nice. It's about to get a little bigger here. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm trying to take my city back. I'm more, even more triggered than you are by that. I'm very salty right now. Wow. Look at that. Die, die, die. All kinds of die. So I got 122 tech per turn. Let's go ahead. And... Oh, what are you going to do? Oof, Stupid boat. Get invention too. Let's get industrialization. East India? I don't know. Get out of here. What am I going to do about that? I need a bomber to take that out. That's not happening. So they're laughing their butts off right now. Um... Oh! Pink Blooming Roses joining the team. That city is not coming back. If it hits any consolation, he's pretty stupid because he's not even working the proper tiles here. And I'm not too feeling hot, too hot about two versus one. <laughs> That's not happening. Ugh. Are they gonna like? Well, first of all, let's just do this before I forget. Get the gold, get the gold. I might have to rush archers just to keep this guy off of my back here. He's angry right now. I 
That's a lot of gold. Nothing I can really do about it, though. Unless I just beg him to go away. He wants my great scientist, though. That's not happening. <laughs> I was just better off building a fleet of galleons. I cannot get that city. Do you even realize what it would take to retake that city? It would take pretty much a bomber. It's the only way I'm getting in there. Look, I'm rushing a 60 gold pikeman. There's this stupid boat harassing me. Six turns. Perhaps invention. Invention could get us there. Let's see. <laughs> that city is not coming back. No, it isn't. That's all this this island has is just one fish. What the hell are you guys doing? This one has double die. Well, I'm not going to stop at that island. I'm just going to proceed to the south there. Yeah, we would have mass casualties if we tried to take that. Sorry, boys. Not happening. I would like to retry the Germans without an island next time, but I don't think there's a single video on my channel with an island victory, so and people have been repeatedly asking for this, so I'm sure that some will enjoy this. Good. <laughs> Are you sure? Is that even still on my channel? I don't, that may not be on my channel anymore. I know a long time ago I did. It's funny you remember that. I did make one a long time ago. Some of my super early videos I ended up just getting rid of because their production quality was pretty shoddy. So, I'm not even sure that it's actually still there. I don't really want to go on land, but this is such a nice spot. I'm going to do it. Uda Pri, Onam Gru.
Hey Joe, have you ever considered making a video on what each type of victory looks like? Such as number of cities, number of enemies left, early tech choices, wonders, etc. Yeah, you know, I thought about um, doing kind of like the, you know, like a guide basically. Like a, like a video that someone could closely follow, right? Like spell out what text to get in what order and everything. Just kind of something that you could generally apply to pretty much any game that you play. And then that would just kind of like... Cause that, it's a lot of the stuff just comes so naturally to me now, but, but I think a new player would really benefit from where I just kind of look at the tech tree and just kind of point it out and just be like, hey, research if you want to get a domination victory, do this, 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 and then do this, and it should work out pretty well. So yeah, actually, it's a pretty good idea. Flirp, lol. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do. I have a lot of ideas in store, so I'm not not gonna run out of ideas, video ideas anytime soon. So still have an email inbox just full of them. So plenty of content in the pipeline. All right, so we're getting an invention that would get us a great person. Looks like the next one's going right there. Alright. Need to get Atlantis too. Okay. Oh, now the Chinese come out. Well, that's why we didn't get literacy first. The Chinese are in the game. Gaze on dying. Gaze on dying, leave me do it. Oof, I've been on a loop. Oh, uh, what's the other core prerequisite? Is it steam? No, just pink. All right, I already have them. Huh. Really, I want to get corp. Uh, let's see what we get from invention first. Looking for Atlantis too, so hopefully we can find it. been a nice little growth spot here. I pumped out a ton. A ton of settlers from this one city. Yeah, that one where I ranked the top 16 was pretty popular. So I'll probably make a lot more that are kind of like that. Like one for the wonders and stuff like that. <laughs> Poor Hamburg. Oof. Almost getting university in one turn, which isn't too bad. All things considered, island start and all of that business. Looks like there's some more die over here. Let's see what we can do about that. Kind of hoping we get a great scientist here. That's what we really want. Oh, 
Oh boy. Yeah, we did get one. So that's good. We can use her to rush corporation. Not bad. More double die. What is going on here? Is this a giant island? What is this? Wow. This could be an awesome production city right here. Woo! Look at that. Two fish. And a got some oak and a tree. Hmm. Let me start thinking about what kind of victory you want to get. It's a dead end, so he won't be getting anything over there. Hip key rain. Well, let's see. I think this is actually mainland. Pretty sure it looks huge, so. Question is, what is this boat doing? <laughs> Could at least block him. Strategically, well, it doesn't matter because he's at war. He still wants my great person, so forget it. It's one of the problems with settling a great person is that it's very difficult to get out of a war because they always want to take your great person. That's like, I'm not doing that. Are you crazy? Forget about it. How many cities do I have? 16. It's not very many. Very few for what I usually do. Legends. These guys are very aggressive.
take a peek up here, see what's going on. Alright, looks like we got the Chinese bopping around over here. You guys serious? Get out of here. Got a bug buzzing around. Wow. They all want the scientists. Forget it. What in the world? A backfilled democracy. Okay. Didn't intend to do that. Now I'm gonna have to change. Anarchy. Oh well. Hepwa. Onum group. Key rain with all of fall. I'm not giving you corporation. Are you crazy? Don't need the cattle. Oh! Darn it. Well, nothing I can do about that anyway. I don't think I need this boat anymore. Not really interested in settling the mainland over here. A couple of nice spots, just don't feel it's really worth it. Take a peek at my cities here. I need ten more science.
All right. I believe we're back here. I just had a nice little blue screen of death. Hey, if you guys have any, I'm on Windows 10. Nice little blue screen of death. Oh, I gotta have to mute that. Yeah, let's mute myself. That would be good. If uh, you guys have any pro tips for not blue screening on Windows 10, that would be great. This, I just bought this PC and it's blue screening on me. I am back. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can you see me now? Alright. So, let's get back to business here. Yeah, I seem to be really lucky in the blue screen department. I uh, get quite a lot of blue screens and I have no idea why. Multiple computers. Maybe I just have... I don't know. Maybe I have some kind of aura that's messing my computer up. Thankfully, the Xbox does not blue screen, so it, we, don't, we don't lose that, but we lose everything else. So 40 times 4? We need 160. It is a sad violin, indeed. Um, Sorry, settler. It had to happen. I may just swap over to Russian libraries at this point. What else do we have? Twenty-two is the best one we got. Yeah, ninety-nine meal deal. What's up, man? Hamburg? What about it? You like that city? Damn. Why does it put this in the most annoying spot? Hey, A A L Allen twelve, L Allen. What's going on, man? Uh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back that video from. Uh, from my blue screen, I'm gonna have to see if I can download it from. I think I can download it from Twitch, and then upload that to YouTube. We'll see. But hopefully, I, hopefully I didn't lose anything. That would suck if I lost the video. Yeah, I think I can download it. 
I almost wonder if it's even worth... Well, yeah, I just want to make sure I can... I'm pretty sure you can download it. Re I've never done that, but I, I'm not sure if the quality suffers at all. I, I think it should be okay, though. These Russians are triggered. Look how triggered these guys are. They're trying to march. They, they are so mad at this one city. Yeah, I think they. I'm pretty sure Twitch lets you just download the file. So I mean, considering that's like a worst case scenario right there, where my computer blue screens. Um, it's not too bad, really. I just lose. I just going to have to download the file. That's not too bad, to be honest. Alrighty. Um, at this point, it's kind of tough to say what I should be doing. It's like, number one, it's tough to expand at this point. I just don't see a lot of land I can go. There's not really a lot of land available at this point. Just because I didn't have a good start. So. I almost wonder if I should just go with the cities that I do have and just kind of go for the win. Where's Atlantis? Uh uh. Atlantis, huh? I mean, Hamburg. I like how he's not working his die tile. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. I don't know. This is about to happen, though. Whew. I feel good. Where's that knight? Way over here? Doing the math in my head. That'll be a while to get him over there. <laughs> New Camberg. It would be pretty awesome to culture flip them, but that's not happening. I'm about to get a lot of gold. We'll definitely do some multiplayer. Oh, wow, that was really smart, computer. Is it worth it? Seven fifty five? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> there we go. Oof, 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 oof. 
<laughs> Actually, I should probably leave that rifleman there. Could go for tech victory, wouldn't have to... Kind of like the idea of a tech victory just because... It's very difficult to get a lot of production on an island scenario like this. So I might go that route. I just don't have a production city, and when you don't have a production city, tech makes a lot of sense. <laughs> All right, we're going to get Hamburg back, boys. Uh, what other games? Uh, I don't have time for other games, to be honest. I focus so much time on this game. Yeah, I think so, man. Multiplayer is fun. It's just uh, take some time to get used to the very different rhythm and strategies involved. see what he's doing. This is pretty awful. Oh. 
Is Overwatch actually pretty good? I never played it. It just looks like a first-person shooter... Um, with some RPG elements, something like that. I'm not really sure. Team Fortress 2. Yeah, I played that one. That one's pretty good. Alright. Stay mad. One, two, three. Drop them off here. Hey, what's up, Vertigo? <laughs> New Camberg. Now yeah, we're deep. We're getting it back. Our people. It's been a few thousand years, but they're still they're still Germans. tell you we ain't getting in there uh, for a long time river river minus 50% what are you talking about see that garbage <laughs> holy cow oh that's interesting so you can't I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah, nice river. So, I don't even get naval support when you do a landing. I didn't know that. Probably because I probably don't try to take back islands like this very often. But yeah, I like that river. Wow. Minus 50% river, minus f half. I like how he have minus half and then minus 50%. I love the inconsistency. Wow. Submarines make cool noises, they're just so slow. But 
Wait, what? Uff, I've been all alone. Uff, I've been all alone. Did something happen? Oh. I know what happened. You see that? Did we get a message about Colossus being obsolete? I think... Because I think that happened. Wow. We're way ahead. That's pretty good. I'm surprised we're that far ahead. Yeah, I think invention did happen. Did it announce that? I totally ignored it. Wow, that sucks. Just drive this thing around for no reason. Oh well, I've got a nice little show of force here. Shot, I suppose. So, yeah, the AI got invention after only 14 texts. It's kind of surprising to me. Okay, that's that must have been beelining for invention because 14 seems like a pretty early time to get invention. Um, that's really going to hurt me in terms of getting a decent time here for technology. Absolutely nothing I can do about it, though. That's not a bad idea. Problem is, what would it take to get there? Eight turns. <laughs> That's a really good question, Bjorn Bullock. I think it only has to do with one thing, and I think it's the year that you get the walk-in. I think it has to be 3400 or later, I think. Uh, no, it's not electronics that makes networking makes universities cheaper. What are the prereqs for networking? Well, electronics, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying electronics makes networking cheaper. Yeah. I might give that a whirl. I am going to get plus one pop population here, so that's a good bonus.
Might as well set these to university just in case I actually end up getting it. Actually, mark it. It's better for this one. You got pissed, got a walk in with the English, took out the Spanish with horses, and I didn't get monarchy or navigation. Those are the two best civs to take out early game. Um, so I don't think you can get attacked from a walk in before 3400 BC, I think is the cutoff. And then if you took out the second one, you probably got bronze working, didn't you? One thing you can do to avoid that is you could... Uh, you could buy bronze working or research bronze working, something like that, before you attack. That way you make sure that you get the... Because by the time you hit the second city, they probably have two techs. They probably have bronze and, and uh, navigation. So you probably would you would have had to have acquired... Uh, bronze working somehow in order to get navigation from the Spanish. Does that make sense? I can rush East India, alright. That's better than nothing. Market Courthouse Factory. <laughs> East India. Finally got East India. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to keep everyone awake. Going as fast as I can. Looks like we got a great humanitarian, so that's not bad. <laughs> that's good. I'll fight your dad. Alright. We're back in the game. We got East India Company. I thought have shot I should have thought to rush that a little earlier. We had a, a thousand more gold than we really needed. us a ton on technology. Not as many cities this time around, so this is a little less painful than it normally is. <laughs> Oxford Bombers, huh? True. It's too late for Oxford Bombers, actually. It's too late.
I already have corporation. You can't get Oxford bombers. Uh, let's see here. If I'm going to rush universities, I'd really prefer to get that half cost first. There you go. There's all the records that I know of. And uh, nobody has sent me any videos that have better times. So, uh, that's... That's, those are the best times I've seen for random maps. Game of the week, totally different story. Alrighty, that's pretty good. Capture card? What do you need a capture card for? I don't have a capture card. Woo! Getting networking in two turns, actually. That's not too bad. I feel like this is a nice alternate path if you didn't really have a ton of cities and you need to catch up on tech. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's not how you record, man. Here. I made a video specifically for this. You don't need a capture card. Hey, everyone. In this video... Here. It's an HD Hellpug HD PVR. You can use those to basically you just route your component cables through the P the Hellpug and that's it. You and you route the the um, video signal to your PC. But that video explains everything. <laughs> yeah that video is not up yet the French video comes out later this week let's see when does the French video come out comes out on the t 21st comes out tomorrow no well yeah tomorrow in my time zone on Wednesday so that'll be a fun video that, that game went really nicely How do you hook up your Xbox, Bjorn? Alright, half cost university. There we go. Give us some mass media too. Okay, you have the HDMI. So you probably want the help hug too then. I believe. I believe that's what you want. Happy birthday, Vertigo. Alright, let's strategically rush some universities here. This is a nice one. Wow. Uh, let's start out rushing. Wow, that's like done. Did 
another nice one. Internet. <laughs> I can't do anything about Hamburg right now. My hands are tied. There's nothing I can do. And I'm a democracy, so I don't know. I can't even... I can't fire the nuke even if I wanted to. Shakespeare... Uh, Oxford could give us something cool. That might, that might give me future tech. We'll see about that. A lot of gold. <laughs> Let's get this thing. I'm hoping it gives me future tech. This could be pretty cool. Wow, that's a lot of tech. Wow. Pretty good for an island start. Pretty good. Do we need steel? Can't remember. No. Do need mass production though. If I get nuclear power, I think that'll unlock space flight. Dude, I linked to the... Open up the description in the video. It shows exactly the links to go to the products. Bjorn. So I get really bored of playing this? No, really, I'd, not yet. I wouldn't be doing this if I was bored. Every game's so different. Hmm. 
Hmm. Gotta love fortifications. Fortifications. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they seriously do need to make Civ Rev 3. I don't know what the heck they're thinking. Alright. Space flight, huh? <laughs> I don't need I don't need advanced flight. I would need an army to even crack that thing anyway. Follow follow. <laughs> Keep. He's a dog. Oof, I've been alone. Alright, I'm gonna slow down my victory just for you. Ankle bomber. Here we go, boys. This is going to give me PTSD if this doesn't work. Cool. We got it! She's ours, boys. Look at that. She's a beauty. For far too long, the Arabs sullied our lands. It's beautiful. They didn't do anything with the city. They just sat on it. Hey! Whoa! What is this? That's right. Oh, 
Why is the army just hanging out? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> nah, we got this. We got bombers. We're good. Look at that. That's space flight. Kind of a waste. Whatever. It's a pretty good time, I think. I think it's going to take one more turn, though. I don't think we're getting it out that quickly. Ooh, yeah. All right, man. I'll see you tomorrow if you can make it. Vertigo. Not quite yet. <laughs> Those knights just became tanks. I almost forgot about the German automatic upgrades. play? I don't know what that means. Travel time 200 years. Uh, can I sell through? Wow, I can just barely afford this. No, I pretty much use this one all the time. More or less. I think I used a different name like two times. <laughs> I was only Jesus Christ for one game. I think it was Aztec's game or something. I just thought it was funny that it said Lord Jesus Christ on the menu. Actually changes your title era to era. I think you start as a lord, modern era. You're like a president or something like that. Yeah, does it depend on your era or the government? Is it the government? Oh, 
is it a government type? 75 years? Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it had to do with the era. That makes sense. What does fundamentalism call it? Never noticed. Premier as a communist? I didn't never notice that. That's so funny. I, yeah, I know a president as democracy. <laughs> president and then lord as despotism. Those knights are about to wreck my city. Fourteen fifty AD. Oh, 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 not even close. Got wrecked. Not even close. That's a pretty good island time. Not amazing, but a pretty good island German time, I feel. This is technically the record for the Germans, just because there's no record of anything for the Germans. Ah, Christopher Columbus. Did you see that? They heard you. You appeared. What do you guys think? 1450? I feel like that's a pretty good time. So, for those that weren't here at the beginning, this was an island start. And, uh, well, uh, we didn't have a single hut on our starting island. It was a fairly decent size island, but the only thing we had on the whole island was um, a single natural wonder for 10 gold. So, we had to build two warriors and then build some boats in order to get something going. So, I think. Uh, Got a few artifacts. Never eliminated a single player. Uh, it was a donut map. So. We had to make things happen. Wow, they still think I'm better than Winston Churchill. Yeah, I kind of feel that way. Unfortunately, they have like so many different so much randomization that it's hard to kind of establish really clear records with certain things. This map just creates so much randomness. Eh. But I think it would be nice if they had like, I don't know. Well, I guess if you had a scenario, it would just turn into game of the week pretty much. So I don't know, I guess it keeps it interesting. Yeah, it really is. We don't eliminate anybody, the computer just goes kind of bananas, but it looks like we still managed to pretty much blow them away. So that would be interesting to see how I could do with the Germans. I've gotten a lot better at expanding since I really started pumping out these videos. It would be interesting to see how I do with the Germans now that I have a better handle on the attack phase and then transitioning into the expansion phase and then transitioning into deciding what kind of victory you're getting phase. 
1450. I can't be too upset with that. Definitely not, right? So. That's all for tonight, guys. I hope you guys uh, join up tomorrow. Well, actually, technically today, Tuesday. It's going to be um, multiplayer night. So I think you guys will enjoy that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you guys off with Katie Rose. So stick around for that. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you guys next time. And try to catch us on Twitch. Links are below in the description, so check it out.